Welcome to uh, the debugging portion of recitation zero and in this recitation I'll be going over the very basics of debugging and debugging is really important uh, while doing part two is it takes up a major chunk of the time while doing part two is especially in homework four that's that was the worst uh, nightmare for me in terms of debugging I had to spend a lot of time debugging the code so it's good to have a good debugging hygiene and good to know about the different debugging uh, methods that we could use and in this video I'll discuss three ways to debug your code printf debugging logging and using PDB now printf debugging is uh, the most intuitive way of debugging is to add a bunch of print statements throughout the code just to see that the different parts of the code are working and here I just have a very simple student class which has two methods and a bunch of, well three methods including the constructor and we have uh, print statements for each of these and when each of these methods are called uh, a print command uh, is so something is printed to make sure that 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 method worked so this was a very simple example of print of debug but printf but why i mean if this if this would be enough why do we have uh log why do we do log and why should we use logging over printf debugging so logging basically is a more formalized way of printf debugging and it's kind of a superset of printf debugging because using printf print, print statements we can we can know that the code is working but logging can do that do what print statements do and it can do a lot more things like uh, we have different severity levels in logging and we logging can in general give us a lot more information we don't have to if you want to turn off certain print statements we have to delete them or go into the code and comment them out but in logging it, there's a very easy way to just turn off certain logging statements so uh, while preparing for this recitation, I wrote this um, Medium article about logging, a very brief introduction to logging and why we might be, uh, it might be preferable over debugging. Logging is definitely useful if you're writing, if you're not using Jupyter Notebooks, if you have, if you're using Python scripts and your code is split into multiple files and you have a huge code base, you should definitely do logging. And here i just want to show you an example of how logging might look like this is a very simple way of logging and just for just for the people who have never heard of logging before so it's the exact same uh uh code as before where i will replace the print statements with logging statements and you have to initialize or configure and configure a logger object which is done here and uh, it's really easy to just so now once you put things into a code it's really easy to change things you could turn off uh turn off certain print statements by changing the severity level we can just print them out into a file by having a file name uh, argument here so you don't have to go into the code and make changes every time uh once and it, it becomes really useful once your code base is really huge but I would not recommend using logging for any of the part twos if you're using Jupyter Notebooks because logging does not work well with Jupyter Notebooks. So this was just to introduce you to what logging is and it might be useful to use it in homework 4 if you're, if you're using Python scripts but don't use it for Jupyter Notebooks. And the third thing you want to go over is a PDB debugger. Uh, this will be useful uh, in part twos, even if you're using Jupyter Notebooks. And here I'll show you an example of how to use a PDB debugger. So we have a for loop here, but it could as well have been a training loop. And we set trace and let's run, let's run this. So uh, PDB debugger stops before the execution of every line. In, in, in the code after it encounters PDB set trace. So um, right now it's here, which means that it has not executed this line. So what should we have in the code here? We should have uh, the value of i should have been assigned. Uh, the i should have been assigned the value zero yet, but value should not have been assigned yet. So we can check that by pressing i, which is equal to zero. 
and value which is not defined yet so the way to execute this line there are various ways we could do it but i'll i'll do i'll enter n which means next or you could also type in next next both do the same thing and now the command uh, this line has been executed and this is waiting to be executed we can check this by printing the value of value which is zero and then you can do next again and new value has now should have been assigned but my list is not defined yet and you can go next and it does the print statement you can go next and it goes to iteration um, goes here so it's 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 not it hasn't executed so it's go it goes back to the for loop it hasn't changed the value of i yet so i is still zero but if you press next now i has changed value so this is how it goes uh, there are various other things you can do with uh the pdb debugger and one way to look at what uh options you have is by pressing help uh, so what we were doing was uh using the next command and we can type in uh, help n or help next and both of these thing do this both of these commands do the same thing so yeah and we have multiple options we could do to exit just press exit uh we can do continue we have breaks quit restart return uh please go over these different commands for the pdb and uh take a look what each of these uh, commands do uh you can use the help uh help command to figure out what what each of these commands do or you could go online check them out but uh pdb can be a real friend uh you don't have to type in a bunch of print statements all the time and use pdb while debugging uh your part two codes uh use pdb in one of the uh training or testing loops and this will be useful so that was it from this debugging recitation